Big G, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about the rule of one-third investing. So what is this? I heard about this incredible concept of investing through the Rich Dad Poor Dad podcast from the best-selling author Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's one of the best investing in asset and just wealth mentality book out there. And what he described and he talked about um, with his wife Kim and a lot of other and the other guests on the show is about the Colonna family in Italy, more specifically in Rome. And this you may have heard about the families such as the Borghese, the Orsini, the Medici, of course, and Florence. All these kind of big, you know, box office Italian names. But this special thing about the Colonna family is all these families lost their money. Like you don't hear about the Borghese's or any of these people today, but the Colonna family still has an incredible amount of wealth and still lives in their palace, the Palazzo Colonna Palace in Rome, near Palazzo Venezia in Rome. And this is an incredible feat because they've maintained and kept their wealth since their crusades in the 1200s, while all these other families have become just you know, figureheads and have no money. So what, how do they do this? So on the podcast, I had learned that they used the rule of one-third investments and they invested one-third of their assets into gold and jewelry, aka precious metals, which makes sense because gold is an excellent store of value. It's a good hedge against fiat and irresponsible behavior and money printing and you know, bad leaders and just history. It shows that it keeps its value over time because gold, you have in every civilization from the Mesoamericans, the Mayans, the Romans, the Chinese, everybody, you know, you know, have a gold ring, everybody likes gold. You know, it has its value, it maintains itself. It's not a great investment, it doesn't, it doesn't have too much return compared to other things, but it maintains its value. It's the anti-fiat. And they also did one third of real estate, which makes incredible sense because location, 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 you have real estate in a prime area like Rome, which is a powerhouse from the papal states, um, different empires, etc. Real estate, you know, has its value in its property itself. It's physical. It's not intangible. It's there. It has its value. You know, whether you rent somebody out for a room, you know, you sell it. It has its value. It's not going somewhere necessarily per se. Even if the building is destroyed, you still own the plot of land. You have a deed to the property. It's physical. So they maintain that throughout all the wars and wars of secession and empires conquering Rome and all this stuff because they maintained their property. If they needed to evacuate, they would take their gold and the next thing, which is art, on their list and they would evacuate and just come back when the times were peaceful and maintain their wealth that way where other people squandered their wealth through irresponsible behavior. Number three is my favorite, which is fine art. If you go to the Palazzo Colonna um, family residence, in the Palazzo Venezia, the family still lives there. They still have their art and they have world-class art. Art like real estate is physical and tangible. And there they have great masters from Caravaggio, um, incredible Titian, great painters. And they have all the oil paintings and beautiful furniture in the palace itself. It's an incredible experience. And I really wanted to impart and share with you guys this tip, these tips today of the rules of one-third investments. You don't have to follow per se, like you know, nail to nail, but I would highly suggest this of gold and precious metals, commodities, art, um, and real estate, which is a trifecta of a beautiful investment portfolio. To maintain your wealth, if you visit beautiful Italy, which I love visiting, dual citizen, go to the Palazzo Colonna, take a tour, and see how this family is still there, they still live there, they still have their wealth, and they haven't blown their wealth like other people have historically. So I highly suggest doing this, so, if you like this video, please um, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, DM me, comment any comment below what you think. If you disagree, agree, I'd love to hear that. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.